I've seen things that nightmares are made of. Do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts? footage you are about to see is raw unscripted footage of a paranormal investigation of an alleged haunted location by southern indiana ghost hunters any evidence if any that is found within this footage is the interpretation of the southern indiana ghost hunters that may not be the only explainable reason for such evidence it's up to the viewer to decide Seymour, Indiana is known for many things. Nadie brothers John, Frank, and Simeon Reno and their gang pulled the country's first train robbery on an Ohio and Mississippi railroad train 
on October 6, 1866, after it had left the Seymour Depot. Asa M. Fitch invented Fitch's chewing gum and started the country's first chewing gum factory in Seymour in 1876. According to 1880 records, a Seymour resident owned the first and only Seifker steam buggy built in Indiana prior to 1901. The world's first farmers club was built in 1914 at 105 South Chestnut Street, which is now the Greater Seymour Chamber of Commerce. Resident Frank Shields invented Barbasol shave cream in 1919. And in 1945, African American members of the 477th Bombardment Group attempted to integrate an all-white officers club at the Freeman Field Army Air Corps Base. This act later led to the integration of the U.S. military and is known as the Freeman Field Mutiny of 1945. Seymour is also hometown to singer, songwriter, actor, and artist John Mellencamp, former U.S. Representative Baron Hill, IU women's basketball coach Terry Morin, retired pro wrestler Rip Rogers, civil rights historian and writer John Dittmer, and 2009's Miss America Katie Stam, just to name a few. It's also home to Southern Indiana's premier nightclub, On the Rocks. Located at 214 South Broadway, the 10,550 square foot building was built of concrete in 1965 as the Seymour's Boys Club and was in operation as such for many, many years. Also known as Southern Indiana's premier sports bar and grill. The local hotspot features an on the patio acoustic bar, on the rocks main bar, and Club Rocks Dance Bar with one of the largest dance floors around. It features a volleyball court, patio, tiki bar, cornhole, pool tables, dartboards, jukebox, DJs, live music, open mic night, and they offer some of the best food you'll ever eat at absolutely amazing prices. As with a lot of the older buildings in Seymour, there seems to be some unexplained activity witnessed by employees as well as patrons at the bar. People have seen shadows, felt extreme cold spots, heard kitchen utensils being banged, bread has flown off the shelves, pans have moved on the overhead rack, and doors and drawers can be heard opening and closing. Also, a young boy in period clothing has been seen. During our two investigations, we had personal experiences and feelings throughout the building, and the interaction seemed to increase the more we were there. At one point, Gabe White and I were setting up equipment in an active spot of the building when we both heard something hit the floor. He then noticed a ball bearing rolling behind me as I was walking away. This ball bearing actually turned the corner and followed me until he said something about it, and then it stopped when I did. Batteries were drained, K2 spiked, the periscope, a flashlight, and a small ball we used as a trigger object all responded to questions throughout our investigations. Here's a little of what we found at the club. Is the building still occupied from those from the past? Have a look and decide for yourself. So I will definitely continue our investigation and research of the rocks. Stay tuned for more, or better yet, stop in and check them out for yourself. You never know, you just might experience more than a great band and a cold drink. We sure did. Here. I sure 
feels like it. The air is so heavy in here. It is heavy in here. The air on my arms is standing up. I know it. You got head pressure bad. Who's in here with us? Set the siren off on the alarm for us on the box. See it blinking. Well, that was cool. Thank you. How about the little thing down here on top of this bag that lights up all the way around it with the spokes? played with it before this evening today. Can you go around it and light it up for us? Well, can you say one of our names so we know you understand what we're saying?
How long have you been here? Were you here before the boys club was built? Somebody hurt you here? Often in investigations, Sal will set up trigger objects to see if they can be manipulated by spirits, especially in newer locations that have never been investigated before, such as this bar. We set up a ball with a flashlight on top of a pool table. The ball is hollow, it is dimpled like a golf ball, and I would like to note that there's very little air movement in the room at the time that this was done. We walked away from the pool table and just let it tape. And as you can clearly see, the ball will start to move and it appears that the flashlight starts to move also. Check it out. I'm more apt to think that the flashlight is actually moving instead of the ball.
while at the rocks, we experienced a whole line of different things that was going on throughout the building during the investigation, such as the ball bearing that appeared out of nowhere and was rolling down the hallway following Barb wherever she went. This seemed to be the case with a lot of things this evening, as with this next clip I want to show you about a ball we set up in front of a flashlight on the pool table. As Barb walked by, the ball rolls away from the light. At first we thought this was the air that was blowing around the ball making it do it by her actions of moving past the pool table. But when we tried to recreate it, we just couldn't. Take a look. Here's Barb resetting the ball. Here's Barb tapping her hands around the ball to try to get it to move and waving her hands over top of it to try to create a breeze. No matter how we tried, we could not recreate the ball moving again by any natural means. So what do you think? We did manage to capture one light anomaly in the back storage room. Watch the upper part of the screen, it's very quick.